incredible story of survival and friendship, but one relationship gets off to, well, an awkward start. Take a look. Come around, come say goodbye to him. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you heard me say goodbye, Jer. I don't... Okay. Yeah. You take uh, care of the doctor and uh, Jerry, okay? Ow! Oh, nasty! Oh, this is disgusting! I got dog spittle in my mouth and my nose! That's not funny. I don't see what's so funny. I think that's a little funny. Please welcome Paul Walker and Jason Beggs. Yeah, your family is right here, Jason. They're yeah. proud and Couple happy. Of cuties. Yeah. They know they've got a funny, funny son. <laughs> Mom, Dad. Oh, Mom, Dad. 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 That's nice. Those are my parents. Oh, let's get a camera on his parents. They just did. Yeah. Oh. He just did. Come, come whenever you're making an appearance. You make the whole family come. They is that a, the way it goes? Yeah, they have a Jason Biggs uh, fan bus that they they follow me around. The, <laughs> they follow me around the country. Oh, that's and, sweet. Uh, no, actually, it's, uh, this is their favorite show to come to. They they, they really they come to this show uh, exclusively. And <laughs> if I could too, I would. Believe me. <laughs> you, 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 you just right here, Jason. That's right really here. interesting, actually, because Paul, I actually heard that you were talking to one of our producers, and you said that this is the most uncomfortable show to be on. So please explain yourself, sir. Please why? explain yourself. Yeah, why? See, I go open in my mouth again. <laughs> I'm in the crossfire here. <laughs> the good thing is I was have Jason here blocking for me. <laughs> we like I am not this, helping you out of this. You're solo, man. We, you, we like young boys, so mm. calm down. <laughs> Just call me the Mrs. Robinson, honey. <laughs> the thing about this show is you can discuss anything. Was there anything in the hot topics that uh, you should excuse the expression turned you on? I have a few sex questions I'd like to ask you, Barbara. <laughs> she wants to ask you about it. In her on time, okay? <laughs> what about that, so that, uh, right that personal ads thing we were doing about the men who would, would respond to a good-looking woman even if she was evil? Mm. What do you think about that? Would you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jason, in terms of relation, though, seriously, you've, you've come here a few times and talked about how you've had a hard time finding love and this and that. Now, actually, you have a, someone special in your life, and you are taking it to the next level. What ex exactly what? does that mean? Yes, yes, we are. We cohabitation is upon us. We oh, are gonna wow. gonna do the uh, gonna do the move in, which is very exciting. And are you moving into her place, or is she moving into your place, or are you mutually moving into a new place together? It is. It it it, it it's uh, my place, but um, but now it's our place. We're gonna oh, make. Okay, it. we start out like that. She's, she's pretty hot too. Right. Okay, mom. <laughs> it's all right, mom. Is she's that okay? okay. She's yeah. okay. okay. Mom, mom, the the mom, 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 we love her. Aww. We already like this. <laughs> Paul, now, I, I have to tell you, that you said that when it comes to women, I read this, you tell me if it's true, that you have a certain uh -huh. fetish when it comes to a body part. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he doesn't yes. want to come on the show. <laughs> and which body part is it? What is the fetish? Come on. Um. <laughs> I like the tummy. You like the tummy? Yeah. The tummy. Mm, I don't know why. Well, even like even if it's it. flappy? Like, do you like a... <laughs> do you like the belly button? Like, what about the tummy exactly? What do you like? Hey, Jason, here you go. Come on, time to save you, man. I know. I'm really, you know what? I'm really curious about this no, time. Can, you get out you know what? can I just say, can we get a round of applause for these guys who are just sticking around? We haven't scared them off yet. And you're actually going to stay. We want to talk about the movie and your little furry friends, okay? So All stick right. right here. Jason and Paul are actually going to stay around, believe it or not. And we're meeting some of the real stars of the movie. We'll be right back. <laughs> And Biggs and Paul Walker and two of their co-stars, Max and Maya, here, the little pups. Now I know they're adorable, and this film is great. And Paul, you um you play this real life expedition leader who is forced to abandon eight of the, the sled dogs mm -hmm. um, in Antarctica. And the weather was it, I mean it was so extreme. And I know even filming this, you were in temperatures, what, 30 below? What was that like? You were we were in Canada, 
In yeah, Greenland? we were in uh, British Columbia, a mm. small town called Smithers. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it sounds bad, but we were we were prepared for Antarctica. I mean, that's the setting right. of the movie, so we had on the appropriate gear. So it was it was never too bad. Yeah. Thirty below. I mean, I get upset at being cold in the studio, but thirty below seems like I wouldn't even <laughs> right. be able to function. Oh. Yeah. Well, okay. I want to introduce uh, the audience to Max. Well, they play Max and Maya in the movie, but their real names are DJ and Coda. Coda's over on the left-hand side with mm -hmm. with Jason, no, wait, and, then this, so and this good. is DJ Coda, over give here. Me your paw. Can you give me your paw? Okay. You know what she did? Barbara, gave, Barbara gave her this dog the treat prematurely, yeah. <laughs> and now the dog is not responding. <laughs> Tree. But, you, but you know, wait, now, Paul, I understand you Size doesn't helped. matter, Barbara, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> you helped in the training a little bit with the dogs? No, I mean, I work with the dogs. My character in the movie is supposed to be really good with them, so there was definitely, there was a fine line because if the dogs start paying too much attention to me, they're no longer listening to the trainer and they're not hitting their mark and yeah. doing what they're supposed to be doing. So there was a fine line, but there was definitely a comfort level or zone that we had to find with one another, yeah. level of trust. I know some it took longer than others, but... They Didn't you have a little problem with one of them? Uh, Coda, the funny thing is, Coda, Coda these dogs, oh, this one right here, <laughs> um, they're not known to be like real affectionate. Yeah. I mean, like anything else, if they're socialized with people yeah. from the time they're real young, they can yeah. learn to be like really sweet. But uh, they're a working dog, primarily. Yeah. And uh, Coda isn't exactly the most personable, but he's, he's actually doing a lot better now. But he, did yeah, but he a little went after you, didn't he? Yeah. yeah, early on, they actually had a variation of Maya, and the dog's name was Polar. And Polar is really sweet. It's the one that likes to lick you and kiss you and all that. Yeah. And uh, I'd mistaken Coder for Polar at oh. one point. Yeah. Was, I only did that idea. once, yeah. right? <laughs> and now, Jason, you have two dogs, but you yeah. say they're not survivors like these guys. What yeah, do you what mean? are your dogs? Uh, well, they're, um, they're, well they, are, they, are, they are and they aren't. What are you aren't. doing with them? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you see? <laughs> <laughs> That's Edgar on the left and Harry on the right. Oh, so Harry cute. we just rescued uh, a month ago. So he's, uh, he's new From to the where? fam. Just From where? Uh, well, he was, he was uh, found on the streets of Los Angeles. He was Aww. attacked by big dogs. Ugh. So he actually is a survivor, but, yeah. but not like these, you know, not like the, the, from the story, six months uh, on their own in Antarctica. These, the, the, my dogs wouldn't survive missing breakfast. <laughs> um, well, they're spoiled. They're, they're spoiled yeah. now. They're spoiled, yeah. Oh, but they are cute. These dogs are good actors. They yeah. belong to Sam. And this is a wonderful Yeah, there's a, there's yeah. a separate union. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's called DAG. But it's, it's, a wonderful, <laughs> it's a wonderful, I just want to say, it's a wonderful adventure film. Not, not, you know, not just the two of you, but your yeah. heart goes out to these it's dogs. And, that, and that's part of the whole suspense of the film. It is. Yeah. It's moving. Yeah. It How really they survive is well, an incredible story. And, and, and Paul's, yeah. Paul's relationship with the dogs, uh, it's like, you know, it's... It's unconditional good. love from yeah. both sides. Yeah. It's good times. It is. You leave I loving love dogs even more from this film. It's yeah. really great. Thanks for stopping by, Jason. Yeah, Thanks thank for bringing you. your family. Oh, Paul, it's always course. good to see you. He knows it's hard. Look at him. This is Jason. He knows the sector. DJ and Coda Bear. Eight Below Ovis in theaters tomorrow. You should see it. We'll be right back.